So, rumours have it that Rockstar Games supposedly has a medieval game in the works. Now, I don't know how true these rumours are, however, I thought I'd throw my two pence in. Because even if this isn't true, there is one thing that I would like to see Rockstar try their hands at, and that is, of course, making a medieval-styled game. Now, there does appear to be more flesh to these rumours than just a mere Reddit post, however, nothing has been corroborated by known trustworthy sources such as Kotaku and things. So while there's a bit of flesh to this rumour, there's no actual leak going on, it's only information, there's no real leaked images or anything like that. There is supposedly a Rockstar employee detailing that they've been working on medieval architecture while working for Druva Interactive, which is a subsidiary to Rockstar Games, which is based in India, though I believe this studio was only acquired recently. So an employee of that company working on medieval architecture could now mean nothing, as when games companies change hands, sometimes some IPs get dropped, things like that happen. These rumours have sort of kicked up thanks to a Reddit post, which was posted on a subreddit dedicated to gaming leaks and rumours. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't trust things that are posted on a subreddit dedicated to rumours and things because anyone can post there, knowing that they'll find an audience that will just gobble that shit up. You get what I'm trying to say, take it with a pinch of salt, however we're going to read this rumour. So the rumour that kicked all this speculation off reads as follows. Funnily enough, the post says it itself, obligatory take with a grain of salt, etc, etc. Which means whoever posted this got their information from a source, which they later go on to state. The source I am getting this from has been right about Grand Theft Auto Online DLC and read Dead Redemption 2 story details before it released. Don't want to say more than that for obvious reasons. Rockstar's next game will not be Bully 2 or Grand Theft Auto 6. They are developing an open world game with a medieval setting. Sword fighting dueling will be a mechanic. Release date is aimed for the first quarter of 2021 and the announcement isn't that long away. Obviously, sounds crazy and you have no reason to believe me, but as I said, they have been very reliable before. I fully believe time will prove me right. Asking me anything more is pretty useless as I don't know anything other than what I've said. And then in the comments of this post, somebody links to the post in which someone exposes a Rockstar employee's LinkedIn profile, supposedly. Which, as of speaking right now, in the past five minutes or so as of this recording of audio has been deleted. Another person linking a thread about how Rockstar Games at one point was supposedly working on a Project Medieval in response to the deleted post, which was posted a solid week before this rumour was. Now what's fascinating about this Reddit post here is usually when it comes to fake leaks that are posted on Reddit, it's crammed with information and there's a ton of red flags because it usually tells people what they think the people want to hear as a quick way to get people to talk about it. This is very short to the point, doesn't give away any information barring telling us that Rockstar is supposedly working on a medieval game and it's due to be released in the first quarter of 2021. Which usually means it'll probably come out in the fourth quarter of 2022 because of Rockstar Games' record of delaying things. And of course, apparently an announcement isn't long away and that's literally all that this post tells us. Short to the point doesn't give away any actual information beyond the basics and from my experience when it comes to reddit rumours that turn out to be true they usually follow this sort of style where they don't give away too much information which doesn't necessarily mean that this post is true but it just means there aren't as many red flags in what's being said. So please take it however which way that you feel like, though I would stress that there's no reason to necessarily get excited until something is officially confirmed. One thing that I do want to talk about really is how a medieval game by Rockstar Games would be fantastic. So forget about the supposed rumours there, and let's think about how doing a project like this would in theory be a no-brainer for a studio that is so focused on world building and making these incredible open worlds filled with things to find, things to do, sights to see and alcohol to drink. Now imagine throwing all the things that make Rockstar games so great into a medieval setting and suddenly you'd have the potential for an amazing project. Now of course in its current state Rockstar games engine is a bit clunky for close quarters sort of thing, the fist fighting in Red Dead Redemption 2 for example is not my favourite thing, but no doubt projects like this would provide Rockstar adequate opportunity to rectify that going forward. And working on that would provide an interesting contrast from the shooters that are Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto. Put it this way, I saw on the Reddit posts an argument that a medieval game wouldn't work for Rockstar because the melee combat in Red Dead Redemption 2 isn't that good. Now, my argument against that is just because one game is in a state like that does not mean that the next game will be too. Clearly, if Rockstar is actually making a medieval game, then they'll have that figured out. 
I mean, you'd hope, wouldn't you? But it's besides the point as the thing that makes Rockstar Games so great is the world building and the high quality side content that's filled with their own stories, mixed with the ability to perform menial tasks at a whim just so that you feel fully immersed. Now, I can't speak much for Grand Theft Auto as I'm not that keen. However, when it comes to Red Dead Redemption, take Red Dead Redemption 2, for example, and restructure that world building design so that it would function for a medieval game. So you'd see minor differences to gameplay, such as prioritising melee weapons over ranged ones, and then adding the bow on top, which is present in Red Dead Redemption 2 as is. Keep other ranged weapons such as throwing knives, etc, etc. Build a world space that houses an amazing story with a great cast of characters, and fill it with tons of side content and menial content that you can just do just because, with all the immersion and white survival elements that you find in Red Dead Redemption 2. For example, replacing saloons with taverns, which would be fantastic. And of course, adding loads of lovely medieval ambience music, which would just be incredible. Of course, I don't know how realistic they'd want to go, though I'd imagine they'd keep the same parody elements that they'd put in, say, Red Dead Redemption or Grand Theft Auto, which allows for them to litter their open worlds with unexplained phenomena without having Having to feel the need to explain it. Investigating these things is probably one of my favourite things to do in Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'd love to see how they handle it, the similarities and differences and so on and so forth in a medieval game. Now if this game is real, I doubt it would be something like an RPG or even a fantasy game, because Rockstar can make even the most boring things interesting because of the immense attention to detail. And I don't feel like an RPG would really allow for this attention to detail in the extent that Rockstar would want it. So I'd imagine the game design being relatively similar to pre-existing Rockstar games titles. And while I believe that the RPG genre is oversaturated with Witcher clones at this point, I wouldn't mind being proven wrong. As I'm sure if Rockstar put their minds to it, they can make anything great. But honestly, RPGs don't really do it for me anymore. And Rockstar knows how to make a game immersive without going down that route. So god knows, but before I tangent too long, let's move on. Furthermore, if Rockstar Games made a grounded medieval game that wasn't too heavy on fantasy, then there wouldn't really be much competition for games that are similar out there. Obviously you've got Kingdom Come Deliverance, but that's an RPG, so it would be vastly different from that as well. My point is it wouldn't have a hard time competing for sales, so from a business perspective, it would make sense, though I'm quite certain that competing for sales is not something that bothers Rockstar at this point. Ultimately, you get my point. I think a medieval open world IP would be perfect for Rockstar games, because if there's one company that I would be able to trust to deliver on that front, it would probably be Rockstar based on the fact that Red Dead Redemption 2 is the best open world game that I have ever played. And a medieval setting would be an opportunity for another open world filled with unexplained phenomena for me to explore, which is why I personally would be interested in such a game. But of course, please do let me know what you think down in the comments section. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be super appreciated. Please take the speculation and the rumours discussed in this video with a pinch of salt, unless an official source proves otherwise. And I suppose I will see you all very soon with another video at some point.